Hello, welcome to the channel. This video we are taking a look at the omnibus edition of X-Men Mutant Massacre. So let's get it unwrapped and take a closer look. Okay, uh, X-Men Mutant Massacre Omnibus Edition. Hardcover, a dust jacket. Choice of uh, two covers. Price-wise, uh, we're looking at uh, $125, about $156 Canadian, around about £104. I picked mine up from Forbidden Planet, so rather than being around £104, it was about £72. If you want to go and check that out for yourself, I'll put a link in the description down below. Uh, if we have a look at the outside, first of all, cover-wise, obviously I've gone for this one which has this rather splendid artwork on it of Wolverine and Sabretooth. On the spine, Marvel Omnibus, little piece of artwork at the bottom there, looking very nice, and we have got, lettering-wise, X-Men Mutant Massacre in nice big lettering rather than the silly tiny lettering that a lot of the recent Marvel Omnibuses have had. And then on the back, of course, as per usual, we have got replicas of the covers of all the issues within this particular volume. Now, if we take the dust jacket off, we'll have a little look and see what we've got underneath. Put that to one side. And we can see we have got some very nice wraparound artwork there. Which features Sabretooth and Wolverine kind of getting into it as per usual. That looks very nice. Okay, so uh, obviously being a new Omnibus edition, as always, we want to stretch the spine out. Hopefully prevent any damage, any loose pages, any warping or distortion of the spine later on. And of course, while I get on with this, why don't we take a look inside the volume. The Marauders are killing the Morlocks, featuring every devastating chapter of the first X-Men event, Mutant Massacre, and the fallout for the mutant heroes, including clashes with the Avengers and the Fantastic Four. Grey Crow, Arclight, Harpoon, Riptide, Scrambler, Vertigo, and the lethal Sabretooth. They are the Marauders, and they have a philosophy. The only good mutant is a dead mutant, except for them. Now they're targeting Homo Superior for extinction, beginning with the outcast Morlocks who live in the tunnels beneath Manhattan. As the slaughter begins, X-Men old and new must fight for their lives. The current squad, still battered and bruised from their recent encounter with Nimrod and the original team secretly posing as the mutant investigators X-Factor. Soon, members of both groups will suffer devastating injuries. Colossus will face an agonising decision and Storm will feel the pain of leadership. As Wolverine shares a savage showdown with Sabretooth, the new mutants are drawn into the fray, as are Thor, Daredevil and Power Pack. The scars of this ordeal will be felt far and wide, and the very survival of beloved teammates is left hanging in the balance. While the Fantastic Four may be able to help one of the wounded, the fate of another lies in more terrifying hands. As the X-Men struggle to recover and rebuild, their weakened roster calls for some new recruits and returning faces. Welcome Psylocke, Longshot, Dazzler and Havoc. they are certainly be needed when the Avengers come calling to arrest Magneto. Collected in full together with the anguished aftermath for the first time, Mutant Massacre is the shocking storyline that changed everything for X-Men comics and paved the way for every mutant crossover epic since. And this volume collects Uncanny X-Men 210 to 219 plus annual number 11. X-Factor 9 to 17 
an annual number two. New Mutants, 46. Thor, 373, 374, and 377, and 378. Power Pack, 27. Daredevil, 238. Fantastic Four vs. the X-Men, 1 to 4, and X-Men vs. the Avengers, 1 to 4. In addition to this, of course, we have a bunch of extras in the back of the volume. We've got what, what seems to be an awful lot of um, articles and in interviews, etc. Uh, rep reprinted in here. We've got a whole bunch of artwork of various sorts, including some uh, pin-ups. We've got the Marvel Mutant Massacre map. Which says, see who the new X-Men will be. We've got what appears to be the scripts for, well, either one or several issues. And then we have a whole bunch of covers of various titles, including what appears to be Sabretooth. So that is X-Men Mutant Massacre. That is it for this video. Until next time, remember, hit the thumbs up below and I will see you in the next one.